If you're looking to scrape B2B leads, then look no further than Apollo IO, which lets you access its entire leads database with a free account. And by recording your web traffic as you browse through Apollo leads, you can legally scrape the data they send to your browser without violating their terms of service. To get started, head to Apollo.io. Looks like they scraped all of LinkedIn and have their own database of every professional contact, email, and phone number. And you can access this database for free. Just click here to make a free account. Then click this search field here, and we can search for anyone we want. So I'm interested in finding CMOs as I know they're likely to purchase my product. And I can see the search results here. And we can apply more of these filters here. So you can select anything you want to narrow down this list as much as possible. I'm just gonna do time zone as an example. So I want people in my time zone, GMT5. And now I'm down to 2000 matches. You can only get to 125 results on the free account. So I encourage you to apply as many filters as possible. Now to get this data out of the table here, they don't make it easy. I don't think they want us doing that for some reason. As most web applications will have some sort of export button here, but we don't see that at all. So instead, I'm gonna whip out my camera and record this data and we'll scrape it from the recording. So right click on the page and hit inspect to open up developer tools, which will now automatically begin recording the web traffic Apollo sends to our web browser. Under the network tab, you can take a closer look at what's going on. To get Apollo to resend this first page of results, refresh the page and you can select the fetch XHR sub tab on the network tab to get a closer look at what's going on in case you're curious. And sort these requests by size and descending order so you can try to figure out where the data is coming from. Here it's gonna be this fourth biggest option, the search request here. When I click on that under the preview, I can see all this raw JSON about the search results that Apollo is sending to my web browser as I use their service in full compliance with their terms of service. So here in this people array, I get a list of 25 people and it shows a lot more data here in this JSON than I can see on the web page. You will not get the email this way. You have to unlock them using email credits. I'm not gonna get into that but everything else here can be pretty useful, especially because they give you a URL to their LinkedIn profile, you can contact them that way. You can see it right here under LinkedIn URL. You also get employment history, which may be interesting to get an idea of the backgrounds of employees at different companies if you're doing market research. You also get phone numbers, but these appear to be company phone numbers, so they're not gonna be useful unless it's a very small company with only a few employees. So this is great for the first page of results. Now to get more, just go down here and click the next arrow and keep doing this. They'll cut you off after page five. So we have 125 total results now recorded in our web browser. We're not scraping, we're just recording. Now to get the next set of results, I suggest changing one of these filters here. So instead of GMT5, I'm gonna to go to GMT4 and I'll get a different set of results. It's still gonna be a lot more than 125, so I won't be able to capture anything, but I'll be able to get another batch of 125 CMOs. And I just keep going and clicking next until they cut me off. Repeat this process until you scroll through enough people, then click this down arrow here under the network tab called export HAR to save a HAR file with all this raw data to your computer. I should also mention they do have a proper API, the Apollo search API that will let us do this in an automated fashion. However, it's restricted to only paying users, so they don't make it open to people on the free plan, so I don't believe we'll be able to check this out. And you also have to use one export credit per call, which I'm not really sure how these things work, so I'm not gonna get into this, but if you wanna see me use this API, let me know in the comments and I'll pay for an account so we can give this a try and answer your questions about how this API works. Now to get the data out of the HAR file we just downloaded, check the link in the description to my no-code Apollo API scraper featuring the HAR file web scraper, which works with any HAR file from any website, not just Apollo. Drag and drop the HAR file here and it will auto-magically group together the useful requests showing the B2B lead data. Look for the group starting with API ending in search, it may vary slightly depending if you did something different, like if you're scraping companies instead. And look at the fields here, you should see familiar things like LinkedIn URL, title, name, etc. And here we can see the intercepted media, and these are the 10 network requests that we intercepted and recorded while using Apollo. If you click these blue links here, you can download that raw JSON data I showed you in your web browser to your computer's downloads folder absolutely free with our service. Or if you want to download this as a CSV file, click parse group here. And if you have a free account with us, you can download up to 10 rows of this data in Excel for free per day. And now I'll quickly walk through the fields that you can get either in JSON or in CSV format like this below. This is the ID column. I suggest using this for deduplication if you do multiple searches. Then you'll see things like name, title, and the LinkedIn URL. So I'm pretty sure they just scraped all of LinkedIn. Email status will be verified, unavailable, or extrapolated, which I'm pretty sure means guessing. For photo URL, it looks like they give you URLs to LinkedIn CDN, which I don't think is totally legal, but I'll digress. Sometimes we'll get a Twitter URL, GitHub, or Facebook URL. 
Also, if the email is extrapolated, you'll see a confidence level. This is their LinkedIn headline, so what they put on their public LinkedIn profile. This is the email. It's, again, it's going to be pretty useless unless you unlock these emails in the app. City, state, and country. Also, this column, are they likely to engage? 88% of them are not likely to engage. Their seniority level, these are all C-suites. Company name and website, which could be useful. There are services that will get the email out of a website like Hunter if you give them the URL. And this is the LinkedIn URL to their organization, as well as the Twitter or Facebook handles for their company. You also get company phone number, but it's probably not going to be useful unless it's a very small company, which they don't show you here. Year the organization was founded, and this organization logo URL, which looks like from Zen Prospect. I'm not sure if it's the same as Apollo or not. This also shows their most recent employment history record I'll get to in a bit. But this is useful because you can see for each row the date in which they started at that current role. So I can see here the your CMO. And then they started in 2018, October 1st. So I get an idea of how long they've been at their current position, which could be useful. For full employment history, I look at this collection here, employment history. So this is gonna show the most recent one, as well as if they have multiple current roles. So this person looks like they work for themselves as well. End date, if it's a prior employment engagement, and start date of when they started it. So this could be useful if you wanna get the backgrounds of certain employees. And you may also wanna check out phone numbers, but these are all work HQ phone numbers. So I don't think this will be useful unless it's a very small company, which maybe you can get to if you apply the right filters. So if you guys found this useful, let me know your thoughts in the comments below or if there are other tools or databases you'd like me to show you how to legally scrape from a recording of your web traffic. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more. And why not check out this next video here on how to scrape LinkedIn legally using the same approach.